This conference will now be recorded. Very good evening, students. Today we'll be discussing numerical problems from the previous year's question paper. That is J Main 2021, which was conducted on 26th August in the second shift. And in this session, I'm just taking few numerical problems or some problems from the 11th standard. So let us start our discussions. So the first question says, a refrigerator consumes an average 35 watt to operate between temperature minus 10 degree centigrade and this is uh, uh, to 25 degree centigrade. If there is no loss of energy, then how much average heat per second does it transfer? As you know, refrigerator actually takes away heat from cold reservoir. Okay, suppose the heat it takes from here is QC and it reject like uh, it rejects heat at the hot reservoir suppose this is hot reservoir okay so it takes heat from cold reservoir and rejects at the hot hot reservoir okay and this process to occur suppose this is qh so this process to occur you need to supply certain amount of energy in terms of work done on the refrigerator so in this case actually this is given here okay so unless we apply or supply energy from outside source it is according to second law of thermodynamics no engine can work like uh, like take away heat from no heat engine can take away heat from cold reservoir and reject at the heat like hot reservoir for that to occur we need to sup supply certain amount of energy in terms of work done here okay so you know we have to write down the expression like coefficient of performance cop coefficient of performance is denoted by beta and that beta can be written as qc the heat extract from extracted from the cold reservoir divided by the work that has been done on the refrigerator okay and this further can be written in terms of temperature suppose this temperature is h high temperature and this is low temperature or cold temperature at the cold of the cold reservoir okay so this can be written as tc minus th by tc okay tc minus th by tc okay so here we have been given the work done here as the power okay that means 35 joule per second that we can use if we require and see the there is no loss means this i can take as one if there is no loss you can take this as uh okay so anyway so from here actually we'll be able to solve this problem so what is tc tc is i have to make 
it to Kelvin. So it is given minus 10 degree centigrade. So minus 10 degree plus 273. This is in Kelvin. So that will be 263 Kelvin. What about this, uh, this one? This will be TH will be 273 plus 25 in Kelvin. So that will be actually 298 Kelvin. Okay. So now let us apply here this thing. TC, see left hand side will keep like this because we have to find out the average heat that it can transfer that means it can take away from the cold reservoir that qc per second we have to find out qc per second we have to find out so let us keep this like this and this is 263 divided by 298 minus 263 okay so this is Let us keep this like this, okay? So this, uh, you know, this is actually 263 divided by 35. Now look, I have to find out what is QC. So this is 263 divided by 35. And W, I have to multiply here, W, Actually, W is given in terms of power, right? So this is 35 per second, okay? I can write that in terms of power itself. 263 by 35. This is 35 watt means 35 joule per second, okay? Joule per second, isn't it? So look, this way we can actually strike out and we get this value as 263 joule per second okay so option d will be the correct answer for this question so dear students you have to just remember this formula for the refrigerator it is little different than the Carnot's heat engine okay Carnot's ideal heat engine that is actually work done by heat input, but here it is little different. Okay, so all right. Okay, so we'll go to the next problem. This problem is very very interesting. We have to solve this problem. This is from Vector. Okay, very first chapter of kinematics. The angle between A and A minus B that is given in the figure. Okay, so angle between A and A minus B. Look this figure. This is A vector. Okay, this one is the A vector. All right, I'll just clean. And what is B vector? B vector is this one. This is B vector. Okay, so I have to find out the angle between A and A minus B. So minus b a minus b when we perform this operation we generally take we generally write this a plus of minus b that means b vector i have to extrapolate or draw in the negative direction so this is b that means this side it is minus b so look here if we extrapolate this this is actually a right the direction of a now direction of minus b is this one so look the a minus b will be in between them somewhere like this okay so this will be the resultant a minus b direction okay direction of a minus b here is given obviously this is a minus b direction okay now this is a minus b and this is a so what is the angle between them the angle is beta so what we have to find out here we have to find out the angle between a and a minus b 
this is a minus b direction you can find out from here right so a minus b we have to find out what is what is a minus b okay so how do i find out a minus b so this is b this is the a minus b so i have to find out this angle okay so let me just do one thing let me uh, add this line okay so this is actually perpendicular bisector say like not bisector i i i just name this some uh, so this is suppose o this is p this is q this is r say so this o r is the resultant right so i have to find out the angle tan beta i have to find out angle tan beta see tan beta how do i get tan beta how do i get i i get tan beta see this is p this point is p so i have just drawn a perpendicular from r to this o uh, like oq line so that this is um, so rp is the perpendicular and now it is it is a right angle triangle okay so it is a right angle triangle so this is beta this is 90 degree so now I can apply tan beta is equal to perpendicular by base. What is the base? Base is this one. See this O P is the base and perpendicular is this. So look, this will be P R by O P. But how do I get P R? Now look, this angle, how much is this angle? This angle is actually 60 degree because this is 180 so this angle will be 60 degree obviously i'll just clean this portion for the time being let me clean this portion and then i'll write down rest of the things okay this also i'll clean okay so look this one this is 60 degree okay 60 degree so i have to find out what is this much okay so what is this perpendicular so what how it will it will be calculated look this one so if this is b and see this is actually this will be actually b sine theta okay this will be b sine theta the, here will be b, b cos theta this line okay this line the whole line will be b cos theta because this is b See now the situation is like this. This is B, this side one line, this side one line. Okay, so this is B, anyway minus B, but I'm just taking as B here. So B, this is 60 degree, right? So this side it will be, this side it will be B 